Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series uh, with respect of uh, with respect to uh, uh, inspiration, education, guidance, advice, and um, we spoke in the previous video of um, uh, Rav Sholem Schwadron, and I want to tell you a story that uh, he gives with respect uh, to an incident that happened to a great uh, tzaddik, Harav Mordechai Permansky, Pogromansky, sorry. Harav Pogromansky was on a train, traveling from A to B. And with him on the train, uh, he met a shaykhet, a ritual slaughterer. Um, these men were both tzaddikim, and they, were, they started talking about Hashem, and uh, scripture, and law, they were so engrossed in their conversation, they missed their stop by quite a way. They were miles past where they were supposed to go. The shaykhet became all worried. He says, where the heck are we? We're in the middle of nowhere. What made matters worse, it was Erev Shabbos. It was the Friday afternoon, the eve of Sabbath. He says, where are we going to go? I mean... Who are we gonna, how are we going to do shops? How are we going to have kosher food? Or of uh, Pogromansky said, Gamzulotayva, even this is for the good. A Jew never strays. Everywhere he goes is with divine providence and for a reason. They get off the train. They're in some town out in the middle of nowhere. And um, it was a Gentile town. No Jews. The Shrek is really starting to, to panic. Rav Pogromansky uh, says, Gamzul don't worry. We're here for a reason. Everything's for a reason. They make inquiries. It turns out there is one Jew in town, one Jewish house. They make their way to the door. They knock. And obviously these men are obviously Jews with beards, payas, tzitzes, hats, they knock on the door, the, the, the homeowner opens, and immediately he cries out, Baruch Hashem, blessed is God. He, tears streaming in his face, he says, I'm here all alone. Last week, my wife gave birth to a baby boy. Today is the eighth day. I have no way to, to circumcise my son, I don't have the skill, I don't have the knowledge. And now, just at where my, my amuna was being shaken the most, Hashem, the Creator, sends me Avram Avinu, Abraham, Abraham, our patriarch, and Eliyahu Navi, Elijah the prophet. He says, surely you men were sent to help me. And before um, Mordechai Pogromansky could say anything, the shaykhet, the ritual slaughterer, says, I'm a shaykhet. I also happen to be a moil. I happen to be a ritual circumciser. We're here to help you. And the men came in, the moil, the shaykhet, performed the circumcision according to Jewish law. Uh, Harap Ogromansky was the sandek, the, the, the man who... Uh, holds the baby on his lap during the, uh, during the circumcision. And uh, it was confirmed once again to Rav Pogromansky and to the Shoichet, the Moel, that a Jew never really strays from the path. God sends him places for a reason. It may not be clear at the moment. It only may be revealed in time. But even when something happens that doesn't seem so great, gamzu l'toyve, even this is for the good. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. I certainly hope that they're of some inspiration to you, of some guidance, uh, of some help. And um, until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.